one. John Martin has a rule. He will not eat what he cannot spell. Quinoa <laughs> is out. Gnocchi is out. So what? Gnocchi is so good. But it's hard to spell. Oh How my do you gosh. spell it? You don't know. G N O C C H I C C H I C H I whatever. Anyway, so imagine his frustration when he found out there was a Dutch bakery called Bon Zaires. And it's B-O-O-N-Z-A-A-I-J-E-R-S. And we, it, apostrophe it's S. taken us all morning to pronounce it right. He literally <laughs> went just to figure out how to pronounce it and then uh -huh. fell in love with it. Yeah. Here he is with more. Hey, good morning from Bon Zaires, where we are hanging out with Chef Stephen Bon Zaires. Two for two? We're good. Okay. Um, if you can't pronounce it, just look for it. Seriously, it's, it's a blue sign with a Dutch windmill on it. Uh, Fillmore and Nevada. Just, you just... Just don't run a check, otherwise you're going to run out of space. Okay, let's talk. All morning we've been talking about stolen bread. Yes. I was just going to shove a piece in my mouth, and you said, actually, there's a way that you're supposed to eat it properly. Okay, right. Well, I just wanted to point out to you. Yes. There is the almond paste in the center. And that was the last step before it. And that was the last step before we gave it a final proof and right. baked it. So after it came out of the oven, we... Smeared the top with butter. Ooh. We dusted it with powdered sugar. Ooh. And then when you eat it, yes. you apply another layer of butter to the top. Wow. Well, there you go. I'm glad you stopped me before I just ate it because butter makes it better. All right, here we go. Stolen bread. Take one. Never tried it before. But I like it. I have to say it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. No, this is good. And you're saying this is five generations yes of, 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 of doing this bakery talk a little bit about your family history and, and and why the passion and the love for it well I think in the European tradition you have sons learning the trade from their fathers sure so it wasn't necessarily on purpose in my case um, but after graduating from college I found myself drawn back into it I still have family in the Netherlands I did my training there and um, just found that I really liked it as well. Yeah, and, and, it. and everything so. here is totally legit. I mean, you're talking about that that long of a history right. in the Netherlands. Like, you're really doing it the, the traditional way, the way it's been done. Maybe a few upgrades in technology, sure. but overall, yeah. well, every generation is going to put its own tweak on it. Right. Make it their own. But. Well, and I tell you, as I walk down the case here, Byron will kind of. But you guys do you do cakes. You do. With the tart, we made those earlier. I mean, everything here, it just looks delicious. Everything looks fresh. You guys are really just knocking it out of the park here. And you just say, people like it because, quite frankly, it's good. That's yeah. what it comes down to. All right, so uh, when do you guys open in the morning? 6.30. And you go till? 6. Uh, Saturdays, we open at 7.30. Yeah. Closed on Sunday. All right. Yep. You should come. You got Thanksgiving coming up. You can just tell everybody that you did it. Um, it's going to be better if they did it, so keep that in mind. Bring it to the office. Be, be the hero of everyone there. It's delicious. It's fun. Uh, thanks for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to eat some more, so see you later.